little flustered, are we? Didn't expect to see me alive, did you? Thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Nope. Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. We owe the court one more show, Your Grace. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. <laughs> when your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Celine, Gaspard, the entire council of heralds, all your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspar, you cannot believe this. You know I would never... Oh, you're done. Gaspar? Be at your own game. And Serafino doesn't even like political intrigue. You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private. Elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing? Or that you're trying so hard to play innocent? And failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Hmm. I don't remember which one I picked. I'm going with this one. I wouldn't have caught Florian in time without Briala's help. You were working together? Of course. Thanks to Briala, Gaspard's mercenary captain will testify that he hired men to infiltrate the palace. Hired thugs? I didn't expect you to stoop so low, cousin. Don't be naive, Celine. The only difference between a mercenary and a common soldier is a uniform. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually, you'll convince somebody. See, I don't want to say he murdered an emissary, because I still don't believe it was him. He did threaten the council, though. There were also the threats Gaspard made to the Council of Heralds to bully them into giving him the crown. <laughs> Gaspard is a bully. Is that the worst you can say of me? See, I don't want to say he murdered an emissary because I don't think it was, I still don't believe it was him. It's too obvious. We've all heard enough to damn the Grand Duke. Thank you, Inquisitor. 
There can be no doubt of your treason, Gaspar. No. It seems there cannot. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Celine. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. Mm. Yeah, let's get them to reconcile. I think Ambassador Briala deserves some reward for uncovering all this. I can scarcely believe you did all this for me, Celine. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orle owes you its future. You have done so much, for my people and for us. We won't forget this. It was my pleasure. The two of you deserve to be happy. We truly are. Come, stand with us, Inquisitor. We must give the good news to the nobility. I still feel this is the best outcome, in my opinion. Lords and ladies of the court, this is a night for celebration. Those who sought to poison our empire with treason have been brought to justice. It is a new age for Orle. We shall build a world in which all men and women live in harmony. Let the cornerstone of change be laid. I introduce the newest member of our court, Marquise Briala of the Dales. This is not just a victory in Halam Shiral, or within the Empire, or even for elves alone. This is a triumph for everyone! Over a thousand years ago in the Valerian fields, elves and humans together defeated the Imperium. We can do so much more now. We are greater than our ancestors ever dreamed. Together, we will start by saving our world from the enemy who took the Divine and tore the sky apart. This evening proves what we can accomplish through cooperation. We are already tracking these Tevinter agents. Soon they'll have no place to hide. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, we celebrate our newfound fellowship. Let the festivities commence! See? It just seems like... One, it's a step in the right direction for elves. Peace is kind of attained. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle after all your efforts on their behalf. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm glad to see. <laughs> then I have happy news as you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By Imperial Decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. See, kind of everything just plays into what she's going to be doing anyways. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? 
I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Yay, Morgan's in the Inquisition. I can't believe you escaped before me. A fat count insisted on talking about soup for 15 <laughs> minutes. We can return to Skyhold whenever you like. The sooner the better. Is something wrong? I'm just worn out. The night has been very long. It was a lot of foolishness. But we did strike a blow against Corypheus. We will need to put the soldiers at Skyhold on alert. Better to be safe. Wait. There is one thing we must do before we go. May I have this dance, Lady Cassandra? <laughs> a dance? After all we've been through tonight? Can you think of a better way to celebrate? Aww. That was a cute smile. I suppose this isn't terrible. That was sweet. I'm glad they added that moment that you're able to dance with your love interest at the Grand Elysian Ball. Yeah, I mean, although it was mostly cutscene, political intrigue, the game, and all that other stuff, um, it could have been worse. It could have been the Fade. And I mean the Fade is in, like, the Fade in Dragon Age 1. Overall, I liked that whole segment, even though it wasn't... It was combat light compared to the other storyline missions. But I uh, also like how you had to consider the situation in order to really choose, based on your own personal preference or what is brought to your attention, who you want to lead. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations, makers mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia the fifth. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Thedas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Are the Grand Clerics truly unable to elect a divine? Everyone with the political support to succeed Justinia perished alongside her. Those who remain are unable to gather the majority of votes from the conclave of Grand Clerics. They have been deadlocked for too long. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Liliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Do 
Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. And so it begins. The final countdown. No, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> he said I shouldn't be allowed to sing. Ever. Uh, we're gonna sit down in judgment of the mayor of Crestwood. Or... You sent for the oh. Inquisitor. Knight Templar Delrin Barris. We've gathered to review your military service to the Inquisition. You showed exceptional valor defending the people of Valkaleen from Venatori, and broke a siege of demons in Ansberg. You stood against an entire town that wanted to kill a mage for imagined demonic possession, without raising a sword. And thanks for your service, and your help at Therenfall Redoubt. I endorse your promotion to Knight Commander of the Templar Order. Your Worship, I... I am He's more worthy. than worthy. You've shown loyalty, determination, courage, as all Templars should. I will honor your faith in me. Templars, will you take Sir Barris as your Knight Commander? I'm really liking how all this is turning out. This is not what I like. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for betraying his own constituents. He confesses that, ten years ago, he flooded old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. If the mayor has anything to say in his defense, let him speak. There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood? Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight, I swear it! Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drown their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. See, and that's, that's kind of bullshit because, one, where is where's his medical expertise to see who is actually caught up, to, who has the blight, who doesn't? And, um... Shit. I don't want to exile him, that'd be too easy. And it sucks too because, yeah, okay, that was one way of getting blight infected people and keeping the blight from spreading further. But again, he had no way of telling for certain who was infected and who wasn't. I mean, if somebody had so much as a cough, oh, you have the blight! And it's just like a bad situation. So I really want to say give him to the Grey Wardens. But then, I feel like Freldin can lock him up. I shoot. I'm gonna say because I'm not gonna kill him. I'm not gonna exile him. So I have multiple choice. It leaves these two decisions. I'm gonna say give me the great wardens. The blight was your undoing. Let it also be your means of redemption. I give you to our allies in the Grey Wardens to fight Darkspawn until the calling takes you. I don't deserve the honor, Your Worship, but I'll do my best. Eh, I don't know. I felt like it was the best decision. Oh, it looks like I'm sitting and judging somebody else. Oh, I think I know who. We'll see in a minute. I do not believe a reminder is necessary for this accused. 
Her capture and disgrace could not have been more public. Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon, although her titles are among the dignities already at risk of forfeiture. You spared her life despite her treachery. What becomes of it now falls to you. Out of your element, Florian. Welcome to the Inquisition. My party. <laughs> Despite her posture, Lady Florian has acknowledged your authority. Should I curse you on behalf of the Elder One? I realize he had no intention of honoring the Concordats I manipulated. Do as you must. I respect your mastery of the game, even as I despise your victory. Celine does not know her fortune. No, that's a bad idea. Let her repent. No, I don't want her to join the cloister. Adjust her outfit with bad shoes. Now, if you really want to hurt Norlesian, that's the way to do it. Um, but I think she needs to work with the common people. Like most nobility, she's never walked in the shoes of those she endangered. Lady Florian, I give you a chance. Common work. Farm work. Do some good. Sentenced to walk with animals? How droll. That would be almost as good as the jester outfit. Because, I mean, she's still stuck to... She's still stuck being at the same level as everybody else, which would more likely also drive her quite mad. Oh. Huh. That appears to be it for the judging. Go ahead and check out some of the war table missions real quick. But uh, since we came back from ball, I definitely want to go ahead and talk to everybody, see what they have to say. Maybe get some more companion quests or get something more out of my people. It's really deathly afraid this playthrough is going to suffer from Time the. To plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? Our alliance with Orle holds for the present. They'll send aid on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking Elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Damn. Fortunately, I can assist. On the classic attire. I'll ignore that you wandered in without knocking. You have my attention. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. And yes, see now, completely threw off my train of thought. I don't remember what I was going to say earlier. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. It's beautiful in its way. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, 
He could succeed where I fail. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Yes, yeah, so let's just follow this lady we only met at a ball, and very, know very little of, into this magical mirror. I mean, we know, the Dragon Age fans know, but how does the Inquisitor know? Definitely a leap of faith, so to speak. No pun intended kind of there, because the whole Harold of Andraste and whatnot. <clears throat> If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I would just call I it the crossroads. Call it the crossroads. Oh. A place where all Illuvians joy, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like... This one, I can describe it no better. For a time, I had a respite with the man I loved. But only for a time, one cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. This is all very interesting, but why show it to me? This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh. Like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Well, at least now we know why Corypheus wants to go to the Arbor Wilds. And yeah, and at this point, <laughs> there really what hasn't been, with the exception of the fallback at Haven, many times where the Inquisitor has lost, or anything was really lost. I mean, it's like one after another, it's like boom, 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 boom. We've been messing up Corypheus' plans, not the other way around. So we definitely have him up against the ropes, and you know... When you do that to somebody, they become desperate, so it's no surprise this is how things are going down. It's nice to see the Illuvian go come into play once again, and for the people who hate Dragon Age Origins, we saw, at least for the, ca the canon playthrough I'm going based off of, like my specific canon that's in Keep, 
uh, Morgan went through the mirror with the hero Ferelden, who was still alive. Because they went through the dark ritual, because the warden actually cared very strongly, loved Morgan, and as you can tell by what she said, she loved him in turn. So it wasn't really so much a dark ritual to him in his eyes. So this is a special yeah, it was nice to see how uh, that's how it went down. Yeah, definitely want to talk to everybody. As you wish, your worship. Nothing to know about it. Farewell. Make her go with you. Yeah, I do want to do the war table. I also want to try and speak to some people. See again, we can get some any kind of companion quest or anything else new. Well, how about that? I would. I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be Bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlay. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? Tell me more about Bianca. Hmm. I'm not making any promises here. Ask. What makes the Merchant's Guild such a danger to her? Well, to be fair, it's more of a danger to me. Technically, we're not supposed to be within 300 leagues of one another. If it got back to the Guild that we were seen together, they'd freeze my assets and then have me killed. Maybe not in that order. What in the world did you do to cause that? We almost started a clan war. Does it matter? I, I can't change it now. How do you know Bianca? The lady, I mean, not the crossbow. I met her years ago when she still lived in Kirkwall and I was looking for someone with uh, mechanical skills. Bianca is, beyond a doubt, the most brilliant smith you'll ever meet. I haven't seen her since she got married and moved to Orlay. Bianca is married? Somehow I thought that the two of you had a history. Bianca's family are Kalna's. Surface dwarves, so conservative they don't take a piss without asking the ancestors first. <laughs> they picked out a smith cast boy for her. Wealthy, respected, has a great anvil collection. The perfect husband. I heard the wedding was lovely. The one Bianca actually showed up for, anyway. All right, tell me the truth. Bianca made your crossbow, didn't she? I mean, it has her name. Oh, it's not that simple. The Carta thinks my Bianca was a freak success by a Carta inventor who could never duplicate it. If they thought anyone else was involved, someone who could make one work, oh, things would be bad. So, I really can't tell the story. I don't want any more blood on my hands. Makes sense, because you don't want people mass-producing the crossbows, because we could see how effective Varric is with it. Imagine if that got in the Carta hands. So how long have the two of you been together? Well, if you want to split hairs, we're not. Usually, there's a continent between us at all times. We write letters. Now and then we manage to meet up. I don't know if that's uh, together. Shit, it's been, what, 15 years? Great. Now I feel old. Thanks. <laughs> I guess that's it for now. Sure. I'll be here. Well, let's see if there's anything else we can get out of them. Something you wanted to talk about? No personal questions, maybe? Can I ask you something, Varric? Want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Nope, nothing. Another time, Barrick. I knew it! Damn it, I knew it! <laughs> 